So Axe Wilder John is finally here and uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video and show off how cool these came out. So uh, if you back the book, it should be in your hands here in the next few weeks. Um, this is the cover by Das Pastoras, which is the main cover. Uh, we put some great spot gloss on John Scar and on the logo. I think it came out really cool. Um, we got a little spot gloss on the back too which looks really nice and all the pull quotes and everything look great. The design work by Ben Dieter really shines and uh, the spine looks great. And then this is the retailer variant for every retailer that ordered four for five books. One of these were switched out as the one in 500 um, variant that uh, I drew. So I think this one came out really nice too. I really love the way this came out. So, and then uh, we did the treatment on the back for this one as well. So come out really cool. I'm going to flip through a little bit of it and show you guys what the book looks like on the inside. we got some really nice end papers there. It's kind of a puzzle piece uh, motif in the book. So like all of our opening chapters, there's always a little clue about what's coming ahead. And that, but those were all done by Ben. He did a fantastic job. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited about this. These are some of the pages I showed off online when promoting it. So there was once a great barbarian cursed to fall in love with the heads of his many victims. And uh, that's the legend of John that spreads through Black Rock, the evil land um, that he's going to try to conquer. So uh, yeah, I think the colors came out great. Most of these colors were done by Michael Garland, who I've worked with at Marvel, uh, worked at almost exclusively an image with him. And then we had uh, Ken came in and helped, my assistant, um, Pete Panzakis, and uh, John Rauch came and helped out as well. So, uh, and also Felipe Sobrero. But most of it, I'd say 75% is by um, Mike Garland. Then I came in and colored a little bit too. But I think the colors came out great. Um, yeah, I'm super proud of this thing. It, uh, the paper stock's nice. I didn't want to go too thick. I always kind of hate it when it's too thick. It always comes off a little overcompensating or pretentious. And uh, so I went just with the standard image stock. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, we did stitch binding. So the binding is stitched, which is nice. So it should be able to lay, lay flat without getting too crazy. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil too much, but, you know... The Legend of the Faceless Barbarian is about to hit the market, and I just wanted to show off some of the uh, some of the art in it. And here's an example of one of those, like there's an eyeball here. So, what's the clue? And then uh, this chapter will focus on our big Cyclops man, Horus. So, each uh, puzzle piece is a little chapter, you know, kind of works as a chapter break, and. Um, yeah, I just couldn't be more proud of it. Uh, thanks to Chris Stevens, who's the editor, uh, Spencer Kloss and Jeremiah. It's everyone who's read it and give me notes or give me, you know, acted, acted enthusiastically about it uh, while I was trying to get it all done. So, yeah, it's a really over the top, violent, um, just the book I've always wanted to make and always wanted to uh, to do 100% myself and i um, super proud of it and uh, excited for all you guys to get your copy soon. So, um, yeah, thanks for checking it out and uh, thanks for backing the book. And if you missed it, if you missed the campaign, now that the book is out, I've ordered a bunch of extra copies. I might have Zoop reopen the campaign or I might open up a web store and I'll, uh, I'll notify people on my social media uh, when the time comes. If you uh, would like to get a copy. Thanks, everybody.